morning and welcome to Shifting Gears. I received a lot of questions after the first episode, the most common being, are you sure this is safe? Maybe it's a bit dangerous to be riding while occasionally looking at a camera. Well, I can assure you that I'm riding on largely protected bike paths thanks, thanks to Vancouver's fantastic bike network. But I can also say that, you know, what's risky, what's dangerous, that really depends on the person. There's no one right answer. And in fact, the disagreement about what, on what we all think is dangerous, sorry, I'm on a little bit of bumps here. The disagreement on what each of us thinks is dangerous is at the heart of many of the disagreements about climate change. So in fact, you hear two different numbers when we talk about what level of warming is acceptable because the world couldn't come to an agreement. The Europe, Europe and the developed world Sorry, that's a truck. Europe and the developing world suggested two degrees of warming being dangerous. The developing world, particularly small island developing states that are really threatened by sea level rise, said we think that's not safe. We want to have a lower number. And so that's where the 1.5 degree warming threshold come from. That's why we had that special intergovernmental panel on climate change report in the fall that looks specifically at the impacts of 1.5 degrees warming. It was effectively saying that we need to take the interests of the developing world, small island states into account that because they f have a different feeling as to what is dangerous. So we don't all agree on what's dangerous. The one thing we can say is that any level of climate change can be dangerous to someone or to some ecosystem or to some species. So the more we can avoid, every degree matters, the more climate change we can avoid, the better.